Hey guys, so I wanted to talk to you guys about the difference between reborns and silicones. Um, just not the differences of who's better, which one is nicer, da 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 da. Just the fact that I think a lot of people that are more of reborn collectors or even new to the hobby at all don't fully understand the difference between the two. There's a significant difference in between price. Um, even though today's world reborns are climbing the charts and they are, you can find reborns that are just as pricey as silicone babies at this point now when it used to didn't be that way. But I think everything is just becoming very, very expensive. Um, reborns are more firmer. Oh my gosh, this noise. <sighs> Thank you. Um, so the um i don't know how like is you normally relaxing when i'm not talking but when i'm talking and it's uh, i'm like shut up um anyway um reborns are a lot firmer in comparison to um silicone reborns are not as firm as the dolls that you buy out the store normally but they are vinyl so they do have firmness to them they do have the doll like feel as far as their limbs and stuff go. Their body is squishy usually. Now she has a little chest plate. Hear that? She has a little chest plate. So her chest plate is vinyl too, so it's firm. But her stomach is squishy and her her thigh parts are squishy, which is nice. Um, but, let's see. But um, silicone babies are just a whole squish. Everything is squishy about them. Even the most firm silicone has still a squish feel. So, um, although I prefer the softer silicone, I will still say that there is still some magic to even the firmer silicone, especially Ecoflex 20 because it's not that long ago when that was the new soft um, or Ecoflex 10. So it's, it's only now that we're going softer than that that now it's like, oh my God, Ecoflex is so firm. I don't want that hard silicone. It's not that hard. So in comparison to a reborn. Um, but one of the things I want to talk about is, I know we talk about the caring for each one of them and how they have two different uh, things and ways to care for them. But mainly, um, one of the things about the process of painting them and the flawness of, uh, the flaws of silicone. Um, with hand art there will be imperfections regardless like there's going to be imperfections no matter how perfect you think your artist is or something somebody either that's a lesser of a painter or not a painter at all or someone that's a greater painter are going to look at it and say hmm well I would, she could have done this or she shouldn't have did that or, or look at this you know type thing you might see a brush stroke you might see a little extra dab of color somewhere that really shouldn't be there or wasn't intended to be there um maybe something didn't get blended quite well um you're gonna find those type of things or maybe they didn't hit that corner so you see a little bit of the vinyl peeking through um there are, there's going to be some type of imperfections like that. Silicone, where in reborns, in the most part, are more smooth and more um, closer to commercialized art. Um, especially people that paint more monotone and like flat colors and stuff. It's really like very smooth. And also, um, some people actually airbrush even with reborn dolls, which is a lot of times people that airbrush get a more smoother even finish and it looks more like to me more plastically in my opinion but that's just me personally but then they go back in some people go back in and they paint the details in which can also still come out uh really real but this is my opinion i'm not putting anybody work down because to be honest i don't know who airbrush and who don't because i haven't really been collecting reborns like that in a while um silicone babies um, also can be airbrushed, which I don't prefer airbrushed silicone babies either, but that's just my personal opinion. But with silicone, you have a whole nother ball game. The pour itself may have some imperfections, like the silicone may be a little bit lumpy, or you may get it and it may have a little blip somewhere that you got to color in with the, you got to fill in with the silicone, or you got to, you know, you got to 
fix the silicone before you paint on it type thing. Like you got to prep it and work on it. So it's a lot more work with silicone and also um, there's different things like um, when you're painting silicone, the consistency, like how I like to explain it. Well, some people paint with like uh, thinners and different things to thin the paint out, but the consistency of silicone is more so like honey, right? Um, so imagine painting with something as thick as honey, but it's like glue. So it's sticky and thick, okay? Um, so sometimes you're painting this whole baby and, and you may not level it out to be as smooth. That's why a lot of people airbrush because they get one clean, thin layer. I don't know if that's why they airbrush, I'm just assuming. Um, also, I think they get the color better when they airbrush. I don't know if because they if they buy it pre-mixed and that's an, another whole subject anyway. I don't I don't know. I can't talk speak on something I don't know nothing about. I mix my own colors from scratch using um the primary colors uh uh that come with psycho paints. That's all I use. I don't I don't have any extras. I don't use any other paints. But anyway, I need to probably explore at some point but I haven't so anyway but all I'm saying is that if you're looking for the same type of perfection in a silicone as you will in a reborn it's out there not gonna say that it's out there but it's not as common as it is for reborns um, also like I said like some of those things you're just not used to those little nuances in silicone than you are in um, Reborns. Um, most people, even the most amazing artists out here, you could find some little nuances in their work, but probably very less. Like I said, and y'all know I'm a Claire Teller fan, so I'm gonna go ahead and say it. Um, in the most part, for the most part, not always, but for the most part, Claire Teller work is very seamless um, as far as the pouring and as far as the painting. But you're also going to pay. <laughs> you're going to pay dearly for that. Um, which is well deserved. Apparently, if it's very rare and you can't get it anywhere else, then you definitely should have to pay for it. Um, so, um, yeah. So, but... Even so, there are some amazing painters out here now, um, painting in silicone now, um, with very much detail. When I first started out looking into collecting silicone babies, they would be blushed. They would look like they were glowing. Um, the painting on silicone babies just wasn't real at all. Like, to me, in my opinion. Like, I basically had a, cracked it up to be that... I would just get it for the feel of the doll and be able to bathe it and powder it. It wasn't about the art in it and at all because the sculpting was horrible on a lot of them and um the and then if the sculpting wasn't horrible, the painting was horrible. It was just it times have changed a lot. <laughs> a lot. Um still today I do still say that reborns do still have an edge on silicone babies as much as I love silicone um, and I do really really love silicone but as much as I love silicone I do still say that reborn still have an edge on them because you have so many different faces you have the ability to pose better um, I don't care how flexible squishy floppy noodly the baby is it it will never pose like a reborn and if it does there's going to be some awkward adjustments made to make it move like that um so i don't oh my battery is going to go dead i'll have to catch you guys up on part two let me know in the comment section if you want me to finish this conversation and i will finish <laughs>